Iowa Speedway has been really good to me. There's just something, I don't know, the way I drive, that it just really uh, jives with the Iowa track, so it's pretty sweet. Welcome back, Gonzalez Racing Team fans and friends and family. All three of you who actually watch. <laughs> All right. I actually screwed up my first outlap. So this is actually the second lap of qualifying that we're watching here. Able to see that I qualified P1. Take note of our new leaderboard that we're using here, Race Lab Apps. You see your laps on top. You can also see the tire stints, uh, how, how long people are on those set of tires, last lap, gaps. Um, and it only shows uh, for, before, and after. The yellow is who the game is focused on. So if the, the name is in yellow, that's who we'll follow. Green flag here, go ahead and turn one. Get a great restart, or not a restart, but a great start. Caught number one sleep in there. And right there, get into the wall a little bit. I actually get into the wall a couple of times. See a few near incident there. Quickly followed up by an actual incident. A single car gets loose. Overcorrects, catches, and nails the outside wall. Here you can see the result of... I hit the wall twice. Hit the wall twice here, so you can see the, the effects of that. Actually made the truck very, very tight after that. second restart actually a first restart with a second green flag here and that will be the only caution of the race no one pitted as far as I recall other than people going into the pits because they get damaged throughout the race this time the one is able to stay with me gets a pretty good start but again I'm also really tight because I got into that, that right side of mine Speed things along a little bit, kind of see what's happening here. An incident here between the 20 and the 14. The 20 gets up, gets into the 14, kind of shoves them out of the way. Don't know if he intended to do that on purpose or not, but here again, that 20 going into one gets into the back side of the 18 here. Fortunately, no caution. I did not want a caution. Continuing on here, you see in the background there the five catching up in here. Actually challenging for position for the second place here against the one truck. Kind of goes in maybe a little high or deep into turn one so we can challenge again, but five just drives off. Late contact here. This is the 18 truck in the 11. Um, it's kind of an odd little contact there. Don't know if that was intentional or not. Again, I'm glad that no caution came out. That would have not been good for me. Two laps to go. You see Matthew back there kind of pretty much locked in our faces together. Uh, haven't really been able to put more distance on him, but he hasn't really been in the game either. Except for when traffic shows up. Last lap, white flag. And again, I'm stupid tight. I really am. Overcooked the right front because of how tight I was, so...
see there, just kind of, and actually just coasting it to the finish line. I wanted to make sure, no mistakes, don't get into that wall. Give up some of the gap just to make sure I win. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was victory number 56. It's always good to take the Door Renew P7 Clubs Gonzalez Racing Team Chevy Silverado to Victory Lane. If you would like to see your business on our truck or any advertising space that you'd like to do, reach out to us at gonzalezracing.com. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's.